Okay, in this, this one, what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, color correct. Now we've done the Luma correction on one of these. Let's choose this clip right here. We've done the Luma correction, um, and it may need some color correction. Um, at any rate, the way that you do this is you're going to go to Window, Workspace, Color Correction. And you're going to switch the output to now a vector scope. And you can see up here um, it's broken down into red, magenta, blue, cyan, green, and yellow. And um, white is in the middle. And as you go outward, that represents higher levels of saturation. So oftentimes, for example, you might see the reds more highly saturated and the orange is more highly saturated than other colors and the blues <clears throat> tend to be a little bit less you can see over here as well as the greens the skin tone happen the skin tone line actually is this little guy right here and the idea is that w when color correcting with skin tones you want want it to align up here and um, you know, if you're African American or Asian, uh, you, your saturation will be a little bit more than if you were, of, you know, like European descent, which would be more toward the center. So, um, when we look at this clip, we're not really sure if it needs to be color corrected. But what we're going to do is we go to effects. And like Final Cut Pro, we're actually going to use the three-way color corrector. Um, I'm going to select all this, and I'm going to dump the three-way color corrector in all of these. And if I double-click on the clip I want, it's up here. But also, now, under the effect controls, I have a filter. Ah, it says multiple clips selected. Well, I just want one clip, so I'm just going to select that. And you'll notice when it pops up, it's very similar to Final Cut Pro. You have three wheels. By default, it's selected on the highlights. Um, you may not want to do that. I always like to go to the master control and turn the master saturation up a bit to maybe like 120, something like that. you got to be careful with the reds. The, those, those ones will go out of off off the ring and basically what you're going to do is you take your shadows and you're going to be pushing those shadows more into the blue more into the blue and then with the skin tone we would have under the highlights and we're pushing back yellows. And that's what I tend to do with my color correction. Now it may be that um, this this really needs to be corrected and what you can do is you can actually use this little white eyedropper right here and select a white point that you might think of in the background and that will shift things around and you can see the results down here. Um, and that's it essentially for color correction. Now, 